Hey, creative worshipers. I'm Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags. Today's worship flag FAQ is where do worship flags go? Should they be in the front or in the back of the church? There's a lot of churches where worship flags aren't welcome in the service at all, whether at the front or the back. But if you've ever had this question, that's what we're tackling today. <music> the worship flag FAQ are worship flags too showy. Now this is kind of like a part two to that question because if you don't think that they should be in the front then you probably think that they're too showy. In this video I'm going to share three reasons why I think worship flags should be at the front of the church and we'll also take a look at the reason why some people would prefer to have them at the back. Reason number one, when worship flags are part of the worship team working together with the lead singers, the musicians, all working together to lead the assembly or the congregation into the throne room of God. They are nonverbal communication, helping orchestrate and helping direct the flow into the throne room of God. So where does direct communication need to be? Usually in front, helping people understand not just with their words, but there's a visual display of what's happening in a spiritual realm. Reason number two, Worship flags are nonverbal communication. So if you're trying to communicate something to someone, where do you need to be? In front of them so that they can see your message. Because it's nonverbal, it really does need to be where people can see it. Reason number three, King David had a value for worship. So much so that in 1 Chronicles 16, it outlays how he actually set up the tabernacle of David where he had worshipers worshiping before the Lord day and night, 24 seven. When your church recognizes the value and importance, the benefit of worship flags, it's important to have the worshipers before the altar on behalf of the people worshiping and ministering to the Lord directly. There are some reasons why worship flags might not be at the front. Space is always an issue. So if there's more space at the back of the church, maybe that's where the worship flaggers have to be. It will also depend upon the value that the worship leader or the leadership team at the church has for worship flags. Or are they just an allowance to make for people who want to worship that way, but they don't necessarily have the team or have that value? They would be more likely to push worship flags to the back where they would be more concerned about the congregation or someone in the assembly being offended by that they might think that it's showy or be distracting. When there's more understanding around worship flags, the entire assembly benefits. In the comments, let me know if your church uses worship flags and if they have them in the front or in the back. I hope that was helpful. What's your worship flag FAQ? I would love to answer it in my next video. Write your question in a comment or in a reply, and I'll make a video answering your worship flag FAQ.